monday.com inventory management tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be doing a quick overview of how you can get started with inventory management on monday.com so let's get into it now monday.com is an amazing platform for both project management and business management and inventory management is a key part of any business especially when i started my e-commerce business it was difficult to manage inventory especially when you're expanding so with monday.com all you have to do is log on to your account if you don't have one you can simply create one with your email address that is all you need now after that you're just going to click on add from templates and we're just gonna add a template and you can just search for inventory over here and they have a very basic inventory management template now you can use this template and begin uh, linking your items and creating your items but if you don't want to use this template you can also use a uh, blank template and add your own items but this is like a good base section to get started with so to get started now i'm just going to uh, collapse all the groups so there have been two groups created so in those groups i have the item names i'm just going to expand this a little then i have manufacturer order stock quantity reorder level reorders and then stock check unit price inventory value and order status last updated and email so for any kind of stock management and or inventory management uh we're gonna go on ahead and add our own item so let's say i want to add a new group and this group of items is maybe called let's say i have an e-commerce store that i started and i'm selling uh hoodies so that's like a very basic item so this could be hoodies and sweatshirts so this is just going to be hoodies and then i'm going to add the different items that i'm uh you know purchasing so let's say that i'm selling so i have a pink k-pop hoodie now all these columns have been added all automatically so it can choose just some the stock quantity the reorders that you want to do the overall uh, uh reorders that you have you can also sum the pricing as well so if you go on ahead and go into any of these sections you can uh you know sum up everything so let's say in dollar signs that's my unit and i want to do a sum i can enter the sum as well so i can just enter whatever i want and i can sum all of these items as well if i want to so this will enable me to manage everything that is in a specific category or in a specific group to manage the amount and then you can just sum the all the totals from all of the groups that you have added now if you are uh you know you have all this information maybe you want to add more information so if you want to add more information just simply scroll to the right and once you have scrolled to the right you can click on add column and you can add any type of column so let's say for inventory management i also want to add delivery dates so i can click on date and i'm just going to rename this item to delivery dates over here and then i can enter specific dates that items will be uh, delivered at so I'm just going to add at the bottom you have you know your summation section so in your summation section you can add whatever you want so let's say I want to add the earliest delivery date for that specific category so I know when things are adding up now after that you also have your manufacturer and for manufacturers or maybe it might be my supplier i can click on edit labels and i can add my supplier names in the label section and i can label them according to suppliers what this enables you to do is that other than your main table you also have a chart section so in your chart section you can take a look at products or an order total investment total stock that you have you can click on add widget and create a numbers chart and add the number of orders that you're having incoming or number of orders that you have placed and haven't been delivered you also have kanban views and kanban views are not as effective in inventory management for monday.com but if you want to view things in accordance to your supplier then they can be pretty good for managing that as well now if i go back into my main table you can also click on your workflow center on the top right and once you click on workflow center you can actually uh, create a workflow or a automation so let's say uh, when a date arrives so i'm going to click on create custom and when the when the date arrives and the date should be the delivery date then i want to 
move item to the new group or change the status or i can click on more options and i can click on scroll down and i can click on clear column and the column could be reorder level so i can clear the reorder level when the delivery date arrives so this is going to automate the process for me so whenever my reordered stock arrives on the due date on um, the delivery dates uh it would automatically be cleared and i won't have to do that in this way you can automate some of the functions of your inventory management as well plus you can also invite people from the top right and if you want to get started from scratch you can just load this template Click on add on the top left, click on new board, and I'm just going to click on inventory. And from here, what I can do is I can just remove the sample groups. So I can click on delete and I can click on this first group. And this could be, and if I want to do like a different style of inventory management, which might be, I want to manage inventory on the basis of in stock. And the second item might be ordered. And the third might be, failure to deliver or if you don't want to create further you can just leave it at that so let's say in the status section i am going to rename that and that could be supplier what supplier do i have so i can edit these labels and i can just add so whatever is my supplier name i can add those over here and click on edit labels and like so i can add those i can remove any of these pre-existing template columns like this and then i can enter my item names i can also en enter more information about my product over here so you can add more information over here for each task like i'm just going to exit over here but you can click on add column and for any kind of inventory information you want to add uh, it might be suppliers it might be recurring deals it might be certain uh you know money estimates so for money estimates you can click on the super useful section and you can click on formulas over here and you have the formula column you can use the premium version of monday.com to add that if you don't want to subscribe to the premium version you can simply click on numbers over here and then it will provide you with a basic sum the basic formulas can all be done with this but if you want to add a more complicated formula you can add those with the premium version but basic sums and basic you know uh, things can be done over here as well and you can use whatever unit you want you can add percentages dollars euros pounds and as well well as the basic functions as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with your own inventory management using monday.com make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to help you guys out and i will catch you guys in the next video